Do you want to buy the best players in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? Well, if the answer is yes, don't buy FIFA points. Just head over to u7buy.com for your cheap, fast, safe and reliable Ultimate Team coin. Make sure to use the code RRB at checkout for 5% off. So, do you guys want me to build you your own personal squad builder? If the answer is yes, you're in the right place. If you want me to build you your own personal squad builder, all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps, alright? All you guys gotta do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications, alright? And once you guys have done that, take a picture, screenshot that, head over to my Instagram, follow my Instagram, and then DM me that screenshot of you following the steps. And once you guys have done that, I can then build your squad, alright? It's that simple, it's that easy. And then, you can end up like these guys. Yes guys, what's going on and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video on the channel. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you one of the most overpowered, cheap 150k teams that you guys can pick up right now. And also guys, before I do go ahead and show you this fantastic team, right, make sure to click the link down below in the description and check out my crazy foot champions challenge that I did do where I opened a 25k pack and that pack, all the players I got in that pack, I had to make um, a team out of and then I had to win a game in foot champions. That challenge was crazy. That entire video was just so dramatic. So make sure you guys Click, click the link down below in the description and check that out but without further ado guys I hope you guys do end up enjoying this squad building video though it really is an overpowered team so without further ado we're gonna waste no more time we're gonna get straight into it let's get it all right guys so as you guys can see right now on your screens we do have the 433 third variation formation but that is just to get everyone on full chemistry all right so make sure you guys do watch till the end of the video just to see what formation you should actually switch to in game but yeah we're gonna waste no more time now we're gonna get straight into it so in the left wing spot we do have a meta an overpowered card he goes by the name of marcus rashford honestly guys we're starting off with a bang all right honestly marcus rashford everyone knows one of the best players in fifa 21 and i just cannot lie to you guys this team really is a fantastic team and i cannot believe it only costs 150k but yeah we do have marcus rashford here if i can actually get the card here we go um a fantastic card you know marcus rashford he's got five star skill moves his dribbling is ridiculous he's he is so so pacey you know he's got like 90 sprint speed he's got five star skill moves four star weak foot 93 sprint speed 89 acceleration 90 shot power which is very very important um in terms of you know overall finishing he's also got 83 finishing but again in game his finishing feels so much better he is really really clinical in and around the box left foot right foot it doesn't really matter too much you know the guy is just too good so he can score on either foot and his dribbling is fantastic but overall i think we all know that marcus rashford is a very overpowered card so with that being said make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up man i swear to you guys he will do you a fantastic job but we're gonna move on into partner up with marcus Rashford in the attack we do have another Manchester United player and he goes by the name of Anthony Martial ice cold Martial make sure you guys go ahead and pick this man up man a fantastic card quite pacey very very good on the ball in terms of his dribbling um <clears throat> He's got very, very good shooting as well. Four-star skill moves. Like, Martial's a really, really good striker card. Again, you know, in and around the box, he's very dangerous. He can turn quickly with a left stick dribbling. Um, you know, he's got the four-star skill moves. Even his left foot is pretty decent as well. As long as you're shooting from a good, um, you know, shooting up, like position, then more than likely, even on his left side, you'll still be able to score. But Martial is a great card. And I think, again, the cheat team like this to have Rashford and Martial together in the attack is ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. This team is very, very sweaty. And just, it really is overpowered. So, yeah, we're going to get into the right wing spot though and in this position guys we do have Lucas Mora all right the Brazilian maestro make sure you guys go in and pick him up man I really like Mora because you know he's just very very reliable you know what you're getting you know you're getting an absolute speedster you know uh, Lucas Mora is very very pacey he's got like 95 uh sprint speed and like 92 acceleration or something like that I don't even know but no he's got the other way around so he's got 95 acceleration and 89 sprint speed he, the point is he's incredibly pacey um he's also got four star skill moves and four star weak foot as well his agility and balance is ridiculous and that's the thing that I love about Lucas Mora. He's a very cheap card, but he's got all the important stats, like every, every, everything important in this game, he's got a lot of. So he's got a lot of agility, a lot of balance, really, really good dribbling and ball control. Um, he is pacey as well. That's what you need for a winger. And then his finishing in-game is quite good as well. And then on top of that, he's got the four-star skill moves and four-star weak foot. So like I said, a very, very overpowered card. Make sure you guys go and go ahead and get Lucas Mora, all right? And a cheap team like this, again, you know, to have these sweaty overpowered players, it's just, it really is insane, honestly. But we're going to move on though. And in the right CDM spot, guys, we actually do have 
an objective card but it's a free card that you guys all can obtain relatively easily it's a card that i don't have yet because i don't know if i'm planning myself to get this card but honestly it really isn't too challenging i just don't need any more midfielders honestly if you guys see my team you know i've got a lot of sbc midfielders i've got seared off as well so it's just not something i need but if you know if you want to build this team then i really would uh, re uh, would recommend that you guys go in and pick up the objective ruben neves it looks like a great card and again it's not it's not really too challenging to get it is, it is relatively easy um to complete so i definitely would go ahead and pick up his objective card it really does look like a fantastic card four star skill moves four star weak foot great passing good defending stats good dribbling and decent finishing i've come up against this card a little bit um in foot champion since he's been released and honestly i can say that you know people have played well with this card so i think that he's a great card so make sure you guys go ahead and try him obviously i haven't tried him myself but like i said he looks like a good card um and uh, i've come up against him and he just seems like a good card that's very very easy to get so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up ruben neves but on the opposite side to neves in the left cdm spot we do have marcus lorente all right the cheap overpowered center midfielder he's very reliable and should get the job done i recommend that you guys go ahead and pick this guy up i think he can do you guys a fantastic job um as you guys can see my lorente a really good well-rounded box-to-box midfielder you know he's pacey for a midfielder he's got 88 sprint speed which is fantastic 74 finishing 80 standing tackle decent dribbling stats he's just a well-rounded midfielder and i think the combination of lorente and ruben neves together will just work really really well and uh, for that reason i recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up the both of them but to complete the midfield right in the center mid spot guys we actually do have um a player that will uh, uh, we have a center forward that will be playing cam but you're going to want to convert him to a center mid so he does get full chemistry he goes by the name of Zhao Felix right make sure you guys go ahead and pick up his goal card I've actually got his inform his inform is just next level insane honestly his inform is one of the best cards in the game in my opinion but yeah you guys want to pick up his normal goal card um which is still very very overpowered and again you know for only a 150k team a player like Zhao Felix in there is fantastic you know he's got five star skill moves four star weak foot he does he isn't the paces of players but that's why you're putting him in that cam spot because in my opinion when you're playing the cam you don't really need them to have you know like 90 sprint speed and 90 acceleration or anything crazy like that but you know it's good enough his finishing is really really overpowered as well his dribbling agility is fantastic in game and just make sure to use and abuse the five star skill moves you know use overpowered skill moves with someone like Zhao Felix and you can really cause problems you know your Lacoquetas your Boros your Scooptas your Elasticos reverse Elasticos you know um just all those skill moves work re uh, really really well with a player like Zhao Felix but that does complete the midfield though and the attack we're going to move on into the defense now we're going to start with the right back spot and uh we do have another Portuguese player in the team getting a strong link to Ruben Neves. A super, a super, super strong link, actually. A hyperlink. Um, he goes by the name of Nelson Schmidl. Make sure you guys go ahead and get him. Um, yeah, very, very effective in this game. I think a lot of people in that play this game know that Nelson Schmidl is very, very overpowered anyway. Um, so I shouldn't have to say too much. But I think we all know that he's a fantastic card. I really, really do. Um, he's got four star skill moves he's pacey he's got good agility good defending um and he's good on the ball as well i think he's just very reliable he will get the job done he's got all the stats that a fullback needs you know he's super super quick and he's good defensively so just make sure you guys go ahead and pick up nelson Semedo. but moving on into the left back spot now guys we do have um a very very good cheap card he goes by the name of renan lodi so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up renan lodi man he should be able to get the job done a very good card with four star skill moves and he's very very good on the ball renan lodi is a player which i use um at the beginning of the game and i really really liked him before i obviously before when mendy was super super expensive and i didn't want to spend so much on a left back um um renan lodi was that player that i used and you know he was a really really good card i like him a lot you know four star skill moves he's actually uh, he feels a lot faster in game than, than what his stat actually says but make sure you get a shadow on him just to increase the pace a little bit more um and then yeah he's got good defending stats he's good on the ball got good agility so i think he can do you guys a fantastic job so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up renan lodi but we're going to move on into the two center back spots now so in the right center back spot we do have um manuel ganji um and yeah he's a great center back you know very very underrated in my opinion in form manuel ganji a great great option to use you know very very pacey solid at defending you know just a real rook a real stud at the back and i think he's an absolutely fantastic option that you guys should use so make sure you guys give in form a try if you haven't already this fifa a fantastic card and you guys will not regret it but to partner up with a kanji in the center back spot guys we do have inform um delaney all right inform thomas delaney again a really really good Borussia dortmund card 
um, an inform card. And again, Delaney, a really, really good card. I feel like these two are really slept on in this FIFA. You know, I've, there's not really been a period of time, um, you know, during this FIFA cycle where people have used these two at the back, you know, but it's a really good and a really effective centre back combination. You know, Delaney is Paisley. He's very good on the ball, obviously, because, you know, he his original card is a, is a midfielder. So he's like, he's kind of like having a, a CDM at centre back, you know. That's what it's like um, with Delaney. I think he's a great card, you know. He's good at dribbling, he's good at passing, he's good defensively. And Akanji is just rock solid, man. Honestly, out of the two, Akanji is my favourite, but they are just both really really good in this game so make sure you guys go in and pick them up and in the goalkeeper spot guys of course only one man um Romain Berkey so make sure you guys go in and pick up him um, not inform Berkey he doesn't even have an inform but we do have the Borussia Dortmund trio and uh yeah make sure you guys go ahead and get the Swiss man himself Roman Berkey he should be able to do you guys a great job a reflexes a5 diving so not too bad at all there but as you guys can see though man as you guys can see this does complete the team right this is the 150k team a ridiculously overpowered team and honestly for only 150k you can actually do some damage with this team you really really can you've got two strong center backs there you've got a decent goalkeeper a good midfield a great attack it's a really well-rounded team and that's why i think this team will work well um i've used obviously every single player in this team before um but just not um just not ruben nevers i don't own ruben nevers but he seems like a good card and i think a lot of you guys um will agree with me on that one but in terms of um full chemistry to get 100 chemistry just make sure you convert jao felix to a center mid or a cam and then uh he'll have full chemistry but now the formation you guys want to switch to is, of course, the 4 2 3 1. And uh, you want to set it up like this in game. So Rashford on the left, Martial up front, Felix in the cam spot, and then Nevers and Lorente as the two CDMs. That's how you guys want to set up in game. Let me know what you guys think of this team, though. But before I do in the video, guys, remember to click the link down below in the description and check out the Foot Champions Challenge video. It was a crazy, crazy video, entertaining just absolute scenes as well man honestly absolute scenes so click the link down below in the description but if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to smash a like on the video subscribe if you are new and turn on post notifications and until next time peace